Hey what's up fellas, my name is Moose from Jiggin with Moose. Today I have an awesome video for you guys. I'm gonna show you how to farm walleye or how to farm XP or how to farm you know for money or basically anything you want but it's gonna be on Emerald Lake New York and we are gonna be going after walleye. But before we do anything according to my YouTube analytics 96% of you guys aren't subscribed so before we get further into the video please make sure you subscribe I'm close to 50 subs I want to reach 100 subs obviously 1000 is the goal but yeah please make sure you hit the subscribe button so I can keep dropping these tutorials for you guys as you know as you do know fishing planet does take a lot of my time because yeah it's a very time consuming and relaxing game so yeah, anyways, enough about all of that. Um, so what you're going to need is you're going to need to go to the bait shop. You're going to want to look for small minnows. Now, depending on how much you have, I'm sure by now, most of you may be like level 20 something. So yeah, say if you're around level 20 something, you want to try and buy maybe 70 minnows. I know that's a lot, but trust me, you're going to be one. You're going to be using all of them. And you also want to be getting a 4 odd hook, that is a 4 slash 0 hook. It can be the barbless one, the barbless one gives you a little bit more XP. But if you can't get that one just yet, you can use an ordinary 4 odd hook. Or you can use a 3 or a 2. If you want to use a 4, you can go for like more bigger walleye, trophy walleye size. But if you want like more consistent bites, then yeah, you gotta go a bit lower than that. So... Um, you are going to need a bass rod width. You're going to need maybe like, uh, like I say, depending on your level, you're going to need maybe like an 8 pound setup to a 10 pound setup. If you want good XP, you, you better go for like a 6 pound setup. But yeah, in this video, you're going to be seeing my setup over here. And also, you're going to be needing the narrow spoons. If you guys haven't seen my wall eye guide, go and check it out right now. So you know which spoons to use. It is the three three or four narrow spoons is going to be the purple one the silver one and the black one there's also a green one but that doesn't work uh, that well so anyways yeah you want to get that oh and one important thing that you need is you're going to have to try and get a rod stand i know you get a single one at the beginning at the very low level that one is fine so yeah just make sure you have enough uh space in your tackle box to carry that and you're gonna have two rod setups for this uh, tutorial so anyways let's get into the video all right we're at the lake now so we're gonna spawn at the usual place uh, for the walleye that is gonna be here on the docks and we're gonna forward fast forward time to like the peak time that's one thing you must always do whenever you spawn into a new location make sure you check for the peak time so that you can get most out of the fishing during the day and stuff like that so where you want to cast is you can cast directly in front left or right but i found a really sweet spot to use for the minnows so when you cast your minnows you want to set your leader to like about maybe 60 65 sometimes depending maybe even 55 put it to 55 inches or to whatever you set it to feet or inches or whatever i'm not sure but yeah just set it to 55 inches my one is in inches and you gotta cast out to like about 70 feet when you're at 70 feet keep it over there 70 to 75 is a sweet spot and then once you cast that other rod of yours you want to put it on a stand a rod stand then you want to get your bass rod out so i suggest during the day try using the purple law and you must do the twitching action you can do stop and go on a two reel speed Depending on what reel you have, I always do it on the number two. So you just reel and you stop, reel and you stop for the stop and go action. And for the twitching, it's pretty pretty simple. I'm sure most of you guys know how to do that already. So anyway, fellas, so this is what you must do. Cast both the rods out. And yeah, while you're waiting for the other rod with the minnows to get some bites, you are busy catching on the last rod. So when you find that one lure isn't working like the purple one then you can switch to maybe the um I found the black one works sometimes in the day uh, the silver one works I know when it's very sunny but yeah you can do this and make sure you have decent enough rods I mean 
like I say, you can use this either as like an XP grind, a money grind, and if you're low level, obviously you can do it for both. But remember, if you don't have a strong enough rod, then it's going to take you a while. If you happen to get two fish, it's going to take you a while to reel both the fish in. So, yeah, I don't know. You have to use this method wisely and just see how you can do it. I found a way where you can reel in both the fish at the same time. Like, say, for example, you get one on your match rod. You hook it, you set the hook, you reel it in for a while, you drop that rod. And then you pick up your bass rod again. You put the bass rod on the rod stand and you carry on doing the same thing over and over until you reel both the fish in. It might take more time, but you're going to fill up your keep net much faster this way. Anyways, that's enough talking from my side. I'm sure you guys tired of it already. But yeah, remember to please leave a like, share and comment. And let me know in the comments like what else would you want to know. Uh, I give a lot of advice to the beginners about which rod they should use. Uh, what lures. As you can see in my other videos, there's quite a lot of people who message me and stuff in the comments. Well, not message, but they write a lot of comments asking me what they should use. And yeah, it doesn't mean that I'm, I'm on Lone Star Lake or whatever lake, Emerald Lake or whatever. I will help you guys. You can just ask me questions about the different lakes and I will help you guys. In my next video, I'm going to be going to Mud Water River and I'm going to be fishing for the uh, fresh, uh, fresh water drum. Sorry, my bad. And yeah, I'll do a tutorial on that. So once again, if you guys enjoy this, remember please hit that subscribe button. I'm getting quite a lot of views. I'm actually very uh, satisfied with the amount of views I'm getting. But you guys aren't hitting the subscribe button. So make sure you do that. It's really going to help me out a lot. And yeah, hopefully we can start streaming one day. And I'll answer everyone's questions during live streams. I'll be able to interact more and stuff like that. So that's it for me fellas and I will catch you guys in the next one. Oh one more thing, you can also fish for walleye at night. Night time is probably the best time and also one more tip before I go. <laughs> when you are fishing at night, you can skip to the next night and just carry on doing that over and over again. That's how. That's usually how I fill up my net because walleye tend to bite more at night. That's what I have discovered. So anyways, that's it for me and I'll see you guys in the next one.